Ask Reddit by a Vanguard and Gnome. Escape room employees, what's the least successful escape attempt that you've ever seen? One group spent the entire time arguing and never even solved the first puzzle. Was it the gang? The escape room I worked at had a real fire alarm inside the room, I'm sure you can see how this ended up. As a guest at an escape room, we had the opposite problem. They had a fire alarm be what you needed to pull to open a secret room. We would have never dreamed of using it until we were explicitly told to do so. We were quite annoyed. The guy that used a hammer on the drywall, because he swore there was a secret door, because he could see the seam. I maybe have a better understanding about why the first escape room I ever went to was very clear about how all the power outlets were in fact, just power outlets and were not to be touched under any circumstances. Had one group get stuck on the thought a lock was the next solution. Even after basically telling them the solution and that it wasn't that lock, they ran back to it. It wasn't even a lock they were supposed to open. It was one for us. And they wasted 75% of their time on it. Every escape room I've been to has some sort of obvious indicator for when lock or door is for staff. Usually it's a particular color tape or something. Not an employee, but a player. The game had runes on the ceiling's walls that were supposed to correspond to certain numbers based on how far apart they were to one another. We just thought that they corresponded to the order they were in. Type that, incorrect, code into the door lock and it opened, because it lined up with an old code from a previous game that had never been wiped from the keypad. It worked, but did we successfully complete the game? I think we broke it. I had this at a pirate themed one the other day. Lock chest with a 4 letter text lock, underneath the pirate map of the Caribbean. I tried the obvious 4 letter words off the map, started with sale and got it on second go with gold. Apparently we skipped over about 10 minutes of puzzles involving ciphers and everything. I was like if you want it to be difficult don't make it so obvious I could accidentally guess it. I'm 100% positive that I'm the subject of one of these stories. My group once put me in charge of a puzzle involving wires during crunch time, since I'm a tech geek. I stood there with a handful of wires being completely useless, and it took a couple of precious minutes to get the team to stop panicking with their own projects before they realized what was wrong. I'm colorblind. I was also part of an escape attempt where a teammate failed to mention they were colorblind until at least a few minutes after they had started a color-oriented puzzle lol. Not an employee but the group I was with spent 30 minutes trying to figure out how to use a combination lock, 3 right turns, 2 left, 1 right. We had the right numbers and I assumed my group knew how to use that type of lock. I've been there. One room we did involved us splitting our team into two groups. Apparently the other group did not know how to tell us that the lock they were looking at was a combination lock, and I know at least one of them has them at their high school. Did a Silent Hill escape room once. You had to get past Pyramid Head to escape. Me and my friend were convinced it was an animatronic and was gonna jump at us when we went by, so we wasted time throwing slippers from the previous puzzle at near it to try to trigger it. It was not an animatronic. We got out to the guy running the room doubled over laughing. We had run out of time but he'd let us finish because he saw and heard us panicking over PH and wanted to see what we'd do. He said no one else had ever done that before. The guy playing Pyramid Head, ah, are they throwing Chancler at me? Had a radio in our game that linked a specific station using an FM transmitter. When the player tuned to the correct frequency it played a nice, clear, loud message from the game character giving a clue. Players thought they had the right frequency but this was in fact a real radio therefore they accidentally tuned to an actual radio station. The announcer gave the phone number for the radio station and one of the players called it thinking they would get a clue. I reminded them that phones weren't needed and gave them some extra time for the clever effort. Not an employee, but a fun story from one of the only rooms we lost. 
there was this table with a design matching these metal tiles of various guards. The tiles stuck with slight magnetism. We had too many people in the room so we were letting each person tackle a task on their own while the rest explored. My poor friend spent 45 minutes on this tile puzzle before we realized the table and tiles were just set dressing. That's not cool, you described something that sounds exactly like an escape room puzzle. My wife managed rooms, the best story is where a laser pointed to a wall and instead of redirecting it they kicked the brick wall in. My friends had one in a tower with a water tap in a cage. They managed to open it with a wrench through the bars. It was not part of the game, they could not get it closed and the water ran into the control room below. They gave them a record time for that. I hate beer. Every first date couple that thought an escape room was a good idea for a first date. Always super awkward. I wanted to take my ex to an escape room for the first date. She talked me out of it and I took her to a restaurant instead. It took me two years to escape that relationship. A friend works at an escape room. A group of moms come in once every few months but do not even attempt to solve anything. They all just lay down or relax in the silence. I think they come to escape life for a bit. The workers all know them and they are lovely women who just need to escape. It is called an escape room. This seems like the perfect use for it. I played a cowboy themed escape room with a friend once. We made it into a second room which had a few air rifles mounted to the wall, which I assumed was just part of the theme and were decorative only. Well, my friend had other ideas, unbeknownst to me as I was facing the other direction trying to solve another puzzle. She managed to pull one of the rifles off the wall and fire it. It wasn't loaded but made a very loud bang. Yeah, we got in a lot of trouble, still managed to escape though. Surely this one's on the room designers. They thought it was a good idea to decorate an escape room a room where total strangers are supposed to investigate and interact with everything in their environment with an actual rifle? I'm surprised this didn't happen more. Edit, yes, I know there is a difference between actual rifles and air rifles. I don't think either are particularly safe to be fired indoors at close quarters by unsupervised randus. Air rifles are not, in fact, harmless toy guns. Player, start of the game had an alarm going off in a museum, with flashing warning lights and yes we had told the game company there was a player with epilepsy and please to turn off such things, had to use the emergency key and wait 10 minutes for the alarm sequence to finish. Yikes. Were they able to get it shut down before they had an episode at least? Not an employee but did an escape room with my family once. There was one wall with a magnet on a chain on it. My dad spent 20 minutes playing with the magnet while my mom, sister and I actually solved the clues. Eventually we opened a door to a room on the other side of the wall. There was a maze of the other side of the wall and a key on the ground. Turns out, we were supposed to have someone on one side of the wall using the magnet to move the key while someone else told them how to get through the maze. The employee later told us he never saw anyone get the key out of the maze by just randomly playing with the magnet. How proud was your dad? Not an employee, but the first, and only, time I've been to an escape room, one of the guys in my group, a friend's husband, thought he was going to be a badass, and just break his way out of the room. So he whipped out a pocket knife and tried to jimmy the door latch open so he could break out. There was so much secondhand embarrassment that I suffered from that. Just super cringe. Like dude, just play the FKN game. Like, dude, you really think we paid $200 plus to watch you do that? I could see that at home for free. Let us do the freaking puzzles we paid for. I'll flip it a bit. A while ago there was a National League Cape Room Championship. We decided to try to participate, sounded fun. Basically you got a slot of 2.5 hours, where you had 10 minutes each for 20 mini rooms. You were timed. It was a disaster. The slot before us ran over by more than 90 minutes. 
when we finally started the cast majority of rooms were way too complicated. Out of the first 10 we maybe solved 3 and 1 do them was because the lock fell on the floor and opened itself. You could see the times of teams before around you. There were at least 6 stroke 7 rooms that no one had been able to solve all day. We ended up walking out as it was getting late and we were seriously over it. There has not been a repeat championship. Why wouldn't they pull them out once their 2.5 hours were up? We had one guy who wanted to do a room by himself. No big deal, it was slow so we said why not. He was bad, very bad. Our rooms are an hour long. Since it was slow we let him go over time. He ended up taking 2 hours. Not to win, to get halfway through. We then had to kick him out for the next group. He had so much fun he immediately wanted to do another. We sent him to another location a couple of blocks away. This was with help. Gentle nudges at first, into nudges, into shoving, into step by step guides. That was, not a fun game to GM. Side note, if you ever had a close escape, you probably went over time a little bit. The system we used we could pause and add time however we wanted. We would never subtract time, your fast runs are 100% yours and you deserve to celebrate if it only took you 30 minutes, but we wanted people to be happy and escape so we would help the clock when needed. Group pressed emergency escape button because they were too scared. They were college kids. They were high. Customer was part of the office's social committee consisting of three members. We set up a night at the city's most popular pub followed by a round at the nearby escape room. We advertised for two months. The only people to show up were the social committee. When they asked for a team name I said the int is social social committee. Before I even knew people were printing into social social club on clothing. This sounds like it's literally from the office lol. A group of brunchers came to attempt our hardest room. They had brunched thoroughly and were already very wild and immobile. The room they were attempting was big six separate rooms with a simulated earthquake that a normal, sober group of six would struggle to do. Turns out one of them snuck beers in their cargo pants and spilled it everywhere 10 minutes in. The game was stopped and they were asked to leave. Moral of the story, brunch and escape rooms do not mix. Side anecdote, have had many peers, as well. I could go on for a while with the wild things I've seen, haha. <laughs> Edit, spelling. Lol the only time I did an escape room was post brunch. It was just four of us and we didn't destroy anything, but we were all pretty drunk and did not complete it successfully that's partially the reason for my post, as it happens. Had a group of 10 year olds come in for a birthday party. The adult accompanying them into the room took the walkie talkie and refused to accept any hints. We even tried to talk through the walkie talkie with freebies, maybe check under so and so object, and they just wouldn't do it. Needless to say they didn't get anything accomplished in an hour and it was the easiest reset lol. Back when I worked at one I had a couple give up on the room for the last 5-10 minutes and make out with each other instead. I ended up turning the monitor off because I was so done. On the PA, the next clue is not behind her tonsils. Not an employee, but something I heard about from a former co-worker. She invited me out for her 21st, among the festivities was an escape room. I couldn't make it due to previous commitments. But I heard from her after the fact that she was so drunk that she was trying to tear things off the walls and dismantle lamps and things. About a year later for my birthday, I decided to do an escape room. I went with family only, and we asked about the wildest stuff they'd seen with someone trying to get out. The game master went on to describe what I'm pretty sure was my co-worker, it was kind of odd hearing an identical description but from someone totally different. Needless to say, Co-worker did not escape, but we did. <laughs>